So Uncle Warbat was a skull crawler, and he got and he and he chose to be reincarnated, and he kept his memories of his past life. Mhm. Mm and almost everyone around here believed him. He was a reincarnation. He was reborn. The third and last option, well, there's actually a fourth option as well, that he'll give you. The third option he'll give you is you can actually stay with him. Stay with him? What will that mean? What that will mean is you'll put your soul and spirit to rest. You can remain in the hollow earth for an eternity. Watch how things go on. And if you ever have loved ones, you can just keep an eye on them. Watch over them, you know? Ah. And the fourth option? He can resurrect you. Really? Mm-hmm. If you choose to be resurrected, he'll resurrect you. Giving you a second chance. In life. Most guys should not believe those little stories, but others do. The only thing that matters is that you choose on what you believe. You choose on what you believe in. If you believe that you want to stay in Kaiju Heaven for an eternity, that's fine. If you, choose, if you want to be reincarnated into something else, that's cool too. You choose to stay with God's on Earth, that's also good. That's also okay. And if you choose to be reborn, that's also and if you choose to be resurrected, that's also okay. And what about the humans? The humans have their own religion. We have ours. But just because the humans may seem to be helpful, doesn't mean they won't won't hesitate to attack you. Remember, like remember what I said. Even though there are some good humans in this world, there are also some bad ones you got to keep an eye out. Plus, humanity itself doesn't really like us, Kaiju. For reasons, because I go to destroy the cities while saving them from Kaiju attacks. And plus, on how the way they turn on each other is just makes me sick. On how the way they run their civilization. That also makes me sick. It's just everything that they do makes me sick. So, yeah. Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah, Sam. Look, I see a triceratops. And it's already been taken. I'm actually kind of glad that Alexis didn't, that Alexis didn't, sh that Alexis didn't show up. Because she'll be probably traumatized this. But, hey, buddy, get lost. Dad, yeah, why are we stealing his kill? That's also another thing you shouldn't know, son. That goes for all of you. When you're a big, bad, apex predator like me, or your uncles, being a big, bad, apex predator, you actually have an advantage. Big predators rarely make their own kills. They just simply steal other people's kills. And stealing will give you a bigger advantage. You waste very little energy and risk injury. I, on the other hand, I choose to both hunt and scavenge. When I see a prey right next to me, I'll hunt it. 
And if I see a carcass lying on the ground, I'll also take it. So it's a matter of taking what you want to take. Remember, you are on top of the food chain. Humanity is at the very bottom of the food chain. Like, how at the bottom? Imagine we are way up here. Okay? We're way up here. And humanity, all the way down here. What sits at, at the bottom of the food chain in the size of humans? Well, there are some wolves, grizzly bears, all that stuff. And, of course, we have the Transformers. And the Titans. And, of course, we have, of course, well, okay, let's retry that one. So, humans are all the way down here where my hand's pointing right now. Or where my hand... Or where my hand's at. Where my hand is at. Martin to the animals like wolves, bears, lions, and elephants. They're right here. Transformers, they're up here. Titans, they're up here. The dinosaurs and dragons, they, the dinosaurs are up here. And the dragons, are up here. And honestly, we are way up here. We, have to, we sit at the very top of the food chain. Humanity, they're just at the bottom of the food chain. Now, this is going to be your first lesson on tasting flesh. Your grandfather taught me how to eat meat. Now, so you guys have been eating it since you were kids, but... You guys have only been eating a big chunk of meat. But actually eating your first carcass is another thing. Eating a carcass is another thing. Because only then and truly then you can identify your prey.